firing up round one here for this deck. Uh, the blue black control deck, and this is our opening hand. Uh, I don't think this is gonna cut it, so uh, we're on the draw. But it looks pretty bad. Great, this is actually worse, unless we can draw an island. I'm just gonna bank on a strong an island. Because if we go to five, our chances just like drop so much. If we get an island, this hand's fine. I probably could have kept the f first hand since we are on the draw, but it looked pretty bad. So, <sighs> Mulligan mulliganing, that's a tongue twister, is something that I'm still learning. <laughs> I mean, I guess aren't we all? It's like tough. All right, rats, you are not as good as a swooper, but you can try. They're playing blue-green. Interesting. I'm just wondering how their deck's going to work. I haven't had good luck with blue-green. That doesn't mean it's not good. I just found the blue-green decks that I built to not be synergistic, and I'm, I'm not sure if that is just because of, like, the draft that I was in, like, the seating, or if, like, it's a the actual archetype. So that's something I still have to, like, figure out. What is this? Okay, automaton, sure. I really hope we can draw an island and then maybe this could be a game. They didn't attack me with swooper, that is so interesting. Uh, it's not gonna be a game though. So that's gonna be a two, three, yeah. Well. We gotta attack with it, like, no joke. If they double block it, that's great. Then we kill the swooper because I'm going to have such a hard time dealing with it. I'm not sure why they didn't attack last turn with the swooper. That's kind of crazy. Um, we are in serious trouble if we don't draw an island like... Oh, I wish I had a prism. If we don't draw an island this turn or next turn, I think we're just like actual dead. But we'll see. If we draw one now, I feel like we'll be okay. They're not pumping Swooper. I mean, they're not making a servo with Swooper. That's really strange. Oh, here's an island. That's cool. Okay. Now we can pump our rat again. So that's good. Oh, I wonder if they're going to counter this. Do they have... Um... They could have Metallic Rebuke. Okay, they didn't, but they could have. I mean, I don't think the play changes, because, like, no matter what, they can rebuke whatever we play. So I need to try to put the Murray out. Um, I hope we draw another island, because then we can do two things next turn. It'd be nice to put down Swooper and Drake. And then I think we can, like, catch back up. We had a slow start, but th they weren't doing anything super crazy, so it's okay... Okay, so now we have some energy. I can pump my rats. Yes. Yes. I would like to pay. So I wonder if the rat is actually going to be an all-star in our deck. Because we do have a bunch of energy. Okay. So ideally, we draw an island. We put down Swooper and Drake. Get our Air Force. Go with Hmm. All right, so two energy, so, okay, that's a map, that's fine. Uh, interesting. I wonder if that's a splash, or if, I wonder if green's their splash color. <gasps> Maybe green's their splash color, maybe they're actually blue-red. But that's why they're saving their energy, they want to make that bigger, I guess. Oh, well, no. Okay. I wonder why they didn't make a thing before. That's very strange. Perfect. Okay, so now we should leave up Ether Meltdown. Minus four, minus O. Oh. So that's going to be... It's going to do zero damage. Okay. 
So I think we can just go in with rats, right? As a 4-5. We have the meltdown to back us up. Okay, that's fine. I like jumping. Okay, Drake, one, two, three. So we can melt down block with the Marais and pump it to kill it. So that'll work. I could also throw the Drake in front of it, but I'd rather not. So let's not. Okay. Yeah, we're going to get energy from the meltdown to pump, so that's fine. Block. Okay, let me make sure I clicked on there, creature that always freaks me out. Got it, got it, got it. They could counter this. I mean, things could go wrong here. But the worst case scenario is we, like, lose our Murray. It's like... And we are down a card from using this. Are they countering it? Oh, no. Don't. Yep. There's the rebuke. Nope. Okay. I mean, that's sad. It's definitely sad. But we can ice this over, so it's not the biggest deal. Like, we have another thing in our hands to deal with it. But that would have been nice. Okay. Not playing anything cool. All right, that's definitely getting iced over. Like, no joke. I don't even want to forget to do that somehow. Okay, so this is a four or five. I want to play the swooper pre-combat so we can pump the rats again. That rats. Our rats are getting swole. A five, six thriving rats. Wow, they are seriously thriving. For real. Please don't have high spark infusion. Can you stop? Okay, there's a crack. I was like, they had the rebuke. If they have the infusion, I'm just going to cry. Okay. We're fine. Everything's fine. I'm just wondering if they're blue, green, or blue, red. Okay, so they get to draw some cards. Sure. We're in top deck mode, which I don't like, but it is what it is. They do have four cards in their hand, too. Wow. Okay. Cracking the map. Sure. Mountain. Okay. I still don't know what their splash is. I'm not sure. Uh, what? They're playing Brawler as, a, like, a splash. Maybe they're just straight three colors? That's bizarre. Okay, and an Ornithopter. Interesting. You don't see this every day, that's for sure. Oh, we get to draw some cards. Okay, so... They cannot kill the rats, so that's going for sure. Uh, so is the Drake. I think Swooper's just staying back. And we might as well crack this because we don't have any cards in our hands. Okay, so they're using that. Double chumping. I'm not sure I like the trump on the Drake, but hey. It's your prerogative opponent. Map. Oh, well, that's a good one. Okay, that's that's very good. Very good. So I guess we're supposed to crack the map on upkeep, technically, because it, like, thins your deck a little bit. If they can't counter this, I think that's GG's. Shrewd negotiation. Sure. Well, that's rude. I built that rat from the ground up. And you just take him. <sighs> sure, it's a very good card. 
Okay. Then the deck. Okay, we can take that stop off. Oh, Torch Gauntlet on a whale is pretty. That's pretty real. All right. We're still doing whale here, so. <sighs> Gotta be careful, though, because they can crack back for nine. Does that matter? Let's see. It's a little bit scary since they're playing red. Hmm. I mean, it doesn't, like, we can play the whale and use this as a blocker if we feel scared. So, yeah, let's attack in the air. That's fine. Oh, dumb. I should have played the whale first so I could have made a servo. Da, 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 punt. That was definitely a punt. That was dumb. Because I forgot that this makes more energy than it needs to bounce, so we could use the two energy for servo, so that was really wrong. <sighs> Super sigh. Alright. So we block the rats and bounce the wheel. And actually make a servo next turn. The servo would have made a huge difference. That sucks. There's also, like the chance that we're supposed to take this here. What do we, th how much do I think that they have a trick that's gonna kill us? They have two cards in hand. I'm like fearing like High Spire and Fusion, that, that would kill me. But they probably don't have that. So they're attacking us for a nine. What else could they have? Cause we win on the crackback, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's not block. I don't think they have a trick. Because we win with the Torch Gauntlet. Rashmi. Bull. Yeah, everything's in the air, so they can't block it. Okay. Essence Extraction. Oh, hello. Anyway, so let me make sure I'm adding this right. Torch Gauntlet. This would be 8, 9, 10, 11. That's plenty. Let's give it a go. Perfect. Now, if I really ha thought that they were playing um, a pump spell, I would have blocked before. But since they're playing three colors, it's just very unlikely that that's happening. And that was unlikely they had in those last two cards. So that paid off. Okay. Uh, they're playing lots of counters. That doesn't mean I want to bring in counters. I don't think there's anything I want to change against them. They don't have anything super powerful that I saw. Not like ridiculously powerful. I mean, shrewd negotiation is pretty rough, but. Do I bring in a counter spell just for that? Mm, probably not. What will we even cut? Nothing. I like our deck as is. <laughs> these hands though I'm gonna keep this we're on the draw we do it please it's a keep but it's like a sad keep because now we just like hope and pray that we wow that's an ornithopter that's so weird we hope and pray that we uh, just keep drawing spells swooper is a good draw getting our air force assembled early is nice even though they have an ornithopter Blech. That's so weird. Like, I mean, I guess this is playable in, like, if you're heavy improvise. Or, like, a Tezzeret's touch on an Ornithopter is pretty real. But it's just, it's bizarre to see it played. Ooh, Perilous Predicament's nice. Let's go. Ah, Swoops does make, um, a Servo, so that's nice. Let's get that going, I guess. We also could have put in Cobra, because it actually kills Ornithopter. But this makes another body. And we, do we have improvised stuff? I actually don't know that we do. I played a lot of magic today. <laughs> uh, I had a deck today. I drafted, and it had two planeswalkers in it. It had Tezzeret and Dovin Bond. And then I also had <laughs> 
dark intimations. It was so funny. I six owed. Why well, three owed it? And then I mean I didn't drive a game. It was glorious, glorious. Having two planeswalkers in a draft deck is funny. I've never had that before. <laughs> it, what was really funny about it was like somebody passed a Dovin like seventh pick in the last pack. By somebody, I mean everybody passed it. How do you get a Dovin that late? That's crazy. Anyway, let's focus. Okay, so I'm sending my swoops. Hopefully this predicament's gonna hurt him pretty bad. In a very friendly way, of course. Yeah, that's fine. Sure. So like, in a way, maybe maybe a Cobra would have been better because then we could have done Swooper and something else later, I'm not sure. Ooh. What's this? Regent. Oh, I wish we could predict a mint now. <laughs> maybe I'll card draw next turn. Oof. Oh, Ice Over. That deals with it too. Okay. Cool. But we just have no attacks. So I gotta put this out, and then next turn hopefully we can predicament and hit him pretty hard, or we ice over the region. It's not a huge chill either way. I'm hoping they draw cards here, cause then we that would just be like perfect. Draw cards and not play anything. <laughs> not play a creature. Just attack me with regent and pump it. Do it. Do it! No, 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 no. Or an artifact. If it's a creature, I'm going to be upset. <sighs> but, like I said, we have ISO first. It's not the worst. Yeah. Yeah, play that prism. Okay, that's this is very exciting. This predic predicament is looking solid. It's looking perilous for our opponent. Yeah, dude, I'll take four. No problem. This is gonna hurt. Unless they counter it. Oh, God, they have rebuke up. <sighs> they have rebuke up. They have five cards in their hand. Do they have rebuke? They could. Do we go for it knowing that they very well could have it? Or do I just go, is it safer to do ice over on the regent? But then predicament becomes like useless because if something's iced over, let's go for it. If they have it, they have it. We have to ice it over next turn. Like I know they have it in their deck. I know that. But listen, if we would ice over, it's just no good. And I did it on their turn because of things like Revolt, things like, you know, maybe they didn't have the answer in their hands. I know it's an instant. I get that. But if they're having counter spells, I mean, they're going to make sure they don't pump this and, like, do that to themselves if we had five mana up. So... Yeah, I mean, I, I think it was correct to go for it because Ice Over just makes that useless anyway. Oh, boy. Uh, they can pump that a bunch, three times. So that's 10 damage. Wowee. They do have four cards, so I don't think they're going to pump it that much. They might. No. Okay. So we have to Ice that over now. No joke. Okay, that's fine. Now they're still repping Rebuke, but... Oh, Desert Touch is fun. Um, yeah, this is more important, so I'm going to ice that over. I 
They thought about that too long. I wonder if they're repping another counter. Because I would like to touch my Cobra. I'm going to try it. No, I guess not. You know what? The servo. I was thinking because we get the Cobra back. Oh, they do have it. So the hesitation was real. Yep. Okay, I'm not insane. There it is. Like, I could have waited a turn. I could have. I could have. But they didn't necessarily have it there. But that hesitation for the regent made me think that they did. So that's cool in a way. Kind of not cool in another way, but okay. It's all right. Everything's okay. So green is their splash. They're splashing brawler. That's what we've seen that has green in it, right? Draw three cards. Oh boy. Well, that kind of ruins the ground for me. Gross. Uh, whale would be great. A torch gauntlet's pretty real. I'll take it. Putting that on the swooper makes this uh, more interesting for sure. All right, they're on a two-turn clock in the air, but they, I mean, they can chump with Ornithopter, which I think that, yeah, they will at some point. That's fine. Uh, I'm going to play this because we do have a whale and we have the Torch Gauntlet. Let's move this over to, I guess, the Servo? No, let's keep it on the Swooper, actually. What's, what's it going to do on the Servo? Nothing. Nothing. It still has first strike. This would change here. The Cobra's just a 2-1 for us. It's never going to be activated. Scrapper champion. That's an issue. But hopefully we can get there in the air before that becomes a super issue. It's going to be tight. I want something with energy so we can make another um, chumper. Like that would make me feel better. Okay, uh, I'm gonna trade off our cobra because the ground is locked up. Like we are not doing anything on the ground. I'd rather just not take the damage right now. Okay, scry, sure. They've seen seven more cards than us. <laughs> wow. All right, so they have to get rid of our flyers and quickly. Daring Demolition's nice. That is nice. It's a nice card. Okay, so we'll demo the Scrapper Champion. Okay, yeah, that's a perfect top deck because now we don't have to worry about that. Not that we were, like, worried about it before, but, you know. It's good. In case they can give it, like, trample or something. That's, like, one less thing to worry about. I can deal with removal. Oh, goody! They didn't have removal for our flyers, so we got there. All right. Yeah, so I guess they were mostly blue, red. Yeah, and splashing for what was the only green that we saw. I think it was the brawler which i think is not a good splash because that card is good like don't get me wrong it's a good card but you want that to come down in turn two and that's not one of splash cards coming down it's just not splash cards you want to like affect the board late game so i don't agree with that i think that they were making their deck worse by playing that um maybe they needed playables i don't know but the rest i think looked okay they had some nice card draw they had some nice cards i mean that regent's the real deal um we just we end up getting there in the air so that was good awesome i think our deck is okay it's pretty synergistic we got some nice flying some decent removal so i think i think we might be all right here all right cool beans 
See you soon.